Hey guys, I'm back for another squishy, and here is the last one that I made, and it was a cake slice. And please give me credit for me, please give me credit because this was my idea on a squishy. But you can still make a video on it, I don't really care. But just give me credit. And it's really squishy, and I love the drizzle. But yeah, anyways, let's get to the actual squishy video. I'm sorry if there's kind of bad lighting. It's nighttime right now, but it's just like 7, I think. But we're going to make another one of these squishies. So, yeah, let's get to the materials. These are the materials, but you can really pick any colors. And if you want to substitute glue for puffy paint, you can. And then these are just makeup sponge wedges. So yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so the first step is to <clears throat> like connect two sponges, so it's like this. So uh, I don't know if you guys watched the first one, but I'm just going to kind of do it. You just glue these two together with some glue. So you just kind of do that. But I already did that. So yeah, it's right here. And I'm just going to take my purple because it's my darkest color out of these two. So, yeah. I'm just going to put it on. I'll be right back once I get that. It's going to take a while. Also, I just wanted to tell you guys that um, <clears throat> it's better to have your squishy under like some plastic or plastic wrap or something so that you can move it around and it like won't stick to it but I don't think it would stick to this anyways but I don't really care so I'm just gonna paint this all and I'll be right back okay so I'm done painting and I don't know if you can tell but I did a really thick coat this time because I it should make it more squishy but I'm gonna let it dry for like a half an hour or something because I don't, like, want to mess it up because I'm just kind of goofy like that. So it should dry, like, just to have, like, the outside a little bit hard so I can put on the little details with these colors. So, yeah, I'll be right back once that's done. Oh, I just love this squishy so much. It's just my favorite almost. But I think this one will take it over. I don't know. Probably not. Because this one's awesome. It's so soft, like, with the acrylic. It's like this part. But then it's so squishy with all the puffy paint. It's, like, amazing. But these two are quite cool, too. I have to say, this one's, like, I don't know. But if you haven't, this is, like, my little container that I just kind of throw them in. Like, just a minute. Oh, shoot. I forgot there's paint on that. Yeah, I, like, had to dab the other thing, like, the purple paint on there, because it wouldn't come out very good. But, yeah, I just kind of put my newest ones in there, since I haven't done squishies for a while. These are, like, my three newest ones. Besides, this one's pretty new, but I didn't make a tutorial on it. So, basically, all the ones that I made a tutorial on are in there. This one doesn't really count. I don't really care. So yeah. Do that once it's done dried. Done being dried, I bet. <laughs> okay, I'm back with my squishy and um it's harder hard kind of on the outside, so it's enough to do the details with these two colors. So let's get started and I'm gonna open up my blind so there's a little bit more light. Okay, so hopefully that's better. And now we're just going to take the squishy and do like a pattern. I'm trying to think. Ooh, I want to do a paw print. That would be like super cute. Okay, so let's do a paw print. By the way, this is Christmas red. Shiny Christmas red. I probably already said it. Oh, uh, well. So I'm just going to do the circle, like the big part of the paw. It'll be so cute. I can, like, show it at the beginning of all my videos, because it's, like, I might change my name to Crafty Kitty, or Music Kitty, or, um, 
or Paw Productions. So comment what you think, which one I should name my channel once I can. What I do for the yellow? Oh, it's so cute. I love it. It's like a little paw. Oh. I think I'm going to do a little line under it because I just feel like lines are in the... Oh. I don't know. They're in the style for me today. Yeah, like a beautiful, luscious, yellow line. Let's make it a little bit thicker. Oh yeah, it's so awesome. Let's make it so it looks like it's being wrapped. Put uh, it on this side too. Just like that. I can do it on the top too, probably. I'm really shaky right now because I'm going to eat all day. Even though it's only like 8. <laughs> I get up early. It looks like a big bob right here. I'm kind of just mixing the colors, so I'm gonna go wash this off real quick. Okay, I'm really sorry about that. The purple and the yellow are mixing, but I'm gonna try to still do it because, yeah. I'm gonna upload the video today. It's the weekend, so there's probably gonna be a lot of squishy tutorials. I'm gonna make a watermelon one coming soon. So it kind of looks like a big mess, but to be honest, it's awesome to me. I love big messes, to tell you the truth. But that's my like awesome like pop. So I'll show you when it's done and I'm able to squish it. Hello, love so much, my cuties. I forgot, I usually show it in the next episode. So I'll show you it in the next episode, which might be in the one with, it might be at the one with this one, because I'm making them at, like, the same time, and, like, going back to, like, that video once this is, when this is drying, so, yeah. It's kind of awkward way to do it, but I'm kind of bored, and no one's home, so I just wanted to do this, and, yeah, hope you guys enjoy You'll see the squishy in the next video, and you'll see this one uploaded after. So yeah, see you guys later. Bye.